Acute bronchitis is an inflammation of the upper airways commonly following an upper respiratory tract infection. And the cause is usually a viral infection, though it's sometimes a bacterial infection and the pathogen is rarely identified. Acute bronchitis is frequently a component of an upper respiratory tract infection, which is caused by rhinovirus, parainfluenza, influenza A or B, respiratory syncytial virus, coronavirus or human metanemovirus. Less common causes may be mycoplasma pneumonia, border telepathosis and chlamydia pneumonia. Patients at risk include those who smoke and those with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease and other diseases which impair bronchial clearance mechanisms such as cystic fibrosis or conditions leading to bronchiectasis. The signs and symptoms of acute bronchitis include an unproductive or minimally productive cough which is accompanied or preceded by upper respiratory infection symptoms. Subjective dyspnea results from chest pain and tightness with breathing, not from hypoxia except in patients with underlying lung disease. Signs are of absent but may include a scattered ronchi and wheezing. Sputum may be clear, purulent or occasionally bloody, and sputum characteristics do not correspond with the particular etiologies as viral or bacterial. There's a mild viva, but high or prolonged fever is usually unusual and suggests influenza or pneumonia. On resolution, cough is the last symptom to subside and often takes several weeks or even longer to do so. Diagnosis is based on clinical presentation and chest x-ray is necessary only if findings suggest for pneumonia such as abdominal vital signs, crackles, signs of consolidation and hypoxemia are present. Elderly patients are the occasional exception, and they may require chest x-ray for productive cough and fever in absence of auscultatory findings, particularly if there is a history of COPD or another lung disorder. Sputum, gram stain, and culture have no role in diagnosis, but cough resolves within two weeks in 75% of these patients, and patients with persistent cough should undergo a chest x-ray Evaluation for pertussis with a culture from nasopharyngeal secretions and non-infectious etiologies such as nasal drip, allergic rhinitis, or cough variant asthma may be needed. Treatment of acute trunchopatitis is otherwise in healthy patients is a major reason that antibiotics are overused. Nearly all patients require only symptomatic treatment such as acetaminophen and hydration. Antitussives should only be used if cough is interfering with sleep, and patients with wheezing may benefit from inhaled bitter agonists such as albuterol or an anticholinergic such as ipratropium for less than or equal to 7 days. If cough persists for more than 2 weeks because of air irritation, some pen patients benefit from a few days of inhaled corticosteroids. Oral antibiotics are typically not used except in patients with pertussis or in patients with COPD who have at least two of the following signs, increased cough, increased dyspnea, and increase in sputum purulence. Drugs include amoxin 500mg orally for 7 days, doxycycline and azithromycin together with trimetoprem sulfamethoxazole.